the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Maria Goretti, a young girl who offered her life to Jesus in order to preserve her purity and virginity. Like her, may we always live pure and holy lives. Let us now be sorry for our many sins and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin, St. Maria Goretti, in her youth, grant, we pray, through her intercession, that as you gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commandments. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Israel is a luxuriant vine whose fruit matches its growth. The more abundant his fruit, the more altars he built. The more productive his land, 
the more sacred pillars he set up. Their heart is false. Now they pay for their guilt. God shall break down their altars and destroy their sacred pillars. If they would say, We have no king, since they do not fear the Lord, what can the king do for them? The king of Samaria shall disappear like foam upon the waters. The high places of Avon shall be destroyed, the sin of Israel. Thorns and thistles shall overgrow their altars. Then they shall cry out to the mountains, Cover us, and to the hills, fall upon us. Sow for yourselves justice, reap the fruit of piety, break up for yourselves a new field, for it is time to seek the Lord, till he come and rain down justice upon you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Seek always the face of the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Sing to Him, sing His praise. Proclaim all His wondrous deeds. Glory in His holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Look to the Lord in His strength. Seek to serve Him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that He has wrought, His portents and the judgments He has uttered. Seek always the face of the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, His servants, sons of Jacob, His chosen ones, He the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth, His judgments prevail. Seek always the face of the Lord. Please stand. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to the, drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew, James the son of Zebedee and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, 
to drive out unclean spirits and to heal every disease and illness. These are the missions that Jesus gave to his 12 apostles, to his closest collaborators. And these are also the same missions that Jesus entrusts to us as the present-day apostles, as Christians and followers of the Lord. We are sent by the Lord every day to drive out evil spirits. We are sent by the Lord every day to become agents of healing. This is our mission as Christians. Saan man tayo makakita ng kasamaan bilang Kristiyano, tungkulin natin na ipagtabuyan ang kasamaang ito. At saan man may sugat, karamdaman, sakit, tungkulin natin na magdala ng kagalingan. Wherever we find evil, and wherever we find pain, it is our Christian duty to bring healing. Evil and illness could be seen in individual lives. Today, we celebrate the memorial of St. Maria Goretti, who lived in the late 19th century. She was born of, of, of uh, a poor Italian family. In fact, she was never able to go to school because of their poverty. When she was 11 years old, Alessandro, their 19-year-old neighbor, attempted to rape her. But she refused because she wanted to preserve her purity, her virginity, her life that she offered to Jesus. When Alessandro tried to force her, she even told him, this is not what God wants. And if you do this, you will go to hell for doing it. Because of this, Alessandro stabbed Maria 14 times. On her deathbed, Maria forgave Alessandro and prayed that one day they will be together in heaven. While in prison, Alessandro repented and when Maria Goretti was canonized in 1950, Alessandro was there, together with the mother of Maria. Maria, true to her being a Christian, was able to drive out evil in the heart of Alessandro. Evil could reside in our hearts. And if evil resides in our hearts, evil could also be found in society. Society becomes evil not because society is evil per se, but because of people with evil hearts. Structures become evil and sinful not because of the structure, but because of the people who constitute those structures. In our first reading today, the prophet Hosea speaks against the people of Israel because their heart is false. And because their heart is false as a people, then even their society becomes evil. And the Lord, through the prophets, 
tried to drive out that evil in the hearts of the Israelites so that even society will be clean and pure. Hindi ang sistema o ang istruktura ang masama, kaya tayo nagiging masama. Masama ang puso ng tao, kaya yung sistema at struktura nagiging masama din. Kaya huwag nating sisihin ang sistema at struktura. Tingnan natin ang puso natin. Ang malinis na puso, magiging malinis din ang puso ng lipunan. Pero kung madumi ang ating puso, tayo na bububuo ng lipunan ang magpapadumi din nito. My dear brothers and sisters, as disciples of Jesus, we are sent to drive out evil and to bring healing. As a disciple of Jesus, do not connive with evil. Drive it away. As a disciple of Jesus, do not take the evil side. Oppose it. Fight it. As a disciple of Jesus, do not inflict pain, but always bring healing. Sa araw na ito, kapag tayo'y naharap sa kasamaan, sa masasamang gawa, sa mga taong nagtutumutokso sa ating gumawa ng masama, huwag tayong makipagsabuatan dahil hindi yan ang misyon bilang mga Kristiyano. Sa araw na ito at araw-araw, sa harap ng kasamaan, labanan natin, ipagtabuyan natin, maging tapat tayo sa ating misyong ibinigay ni Jesus. May we become faithful disciples of Jesus by bringing about healing, by bringing about peace, by bringing about salvation to each individual and to society. Please stand. As God's holy people called in different ways to spread the gospel, the good news of the kingdom, we place our needs before our Father who continues to care for us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those called in the church to lead the people of God may have the courage to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who seek God may find enlightenment and respond willingly to God's invitation to be with Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That young people may recognize the voice of Christ calling them to a life of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may receive comfort and strength from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead may rest in the peace of Christ's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers, and we also pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, when you call us in the events of everyday life, let your Spirit give each of us the strength to say, Lord, here I am, I come to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Maria Goretti win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray. Just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Maria Goretti, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Maria Goretti, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through Him, and with Him, and in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you that should, should enter, enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and, my, and soul my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on Blessed Maria Goretti a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you this evening for our weekly Wednesday evening Healing Rosary for the World at 9 o'clock on our Facebook page. Let us join the parish community of St. Maria Goretti Parish in Paco, Manila. As they celebrate their feast day today, they will also host our Healing Rosary together with their parish priest, Father Dave Concepcion. And so let us gather this evening as, com as a community and as a family to ask the intercession of Our Lady for healing in our country, in our families, and in our world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.